Hello guys and girls, Keith back again. It's going to be another tutorial on setting up a spotlight. Um, this is just a generic spotlight that's available on LSPDFR. The noise in the background that you might be able to hear is my dog having a stupid half hour deciding at this particular point in time to throw a plastic bottle around the living room. So we'll try and ignore that. Uh, I'm going to be setting up so it lights up uh, when you put on your main beam lights on your model. We're going to be using this 2016 Ford Police Inter Interceptor Utility made by Officer Underwood, I think it is. So I'm just using this vehicle as an example, but you can use any. So first thing we're going to do, as you can see, they're both imported. Now I'm going to move the spotlight over so it sits on the doorpost. But what I'm not going to do is move it straight away because you get this that happens. So I'm going to move everything out of the main spotlight dummy. And then I'm going to move it over. Now, I'm not going to set this up perfectly. This is just a tutorial, so it's just going to be quite quick. And there, that will do. Now, <clears throat> what we've got is, we've got the spotlight dummy. When it finishes saving. Because we've made three moves, and now it wants to save all my work. So, we've got the spotlight dummy. The actual spotlight itself the light dummy and the actual light itself which is what illuminates so I'm going to take just the light dummy I'm going to move it forward the light to there and I'm going to take the light itself which is this I'm going to put it back inside the dummy and I'm going to rename it not E3 extra light underscore one <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm going to go on the front view close the dummy, I'm going to highlight it check, we're going to our properties external state, as you can see the ID is zero so this is the light's ID so we're using extra light one, so our light ID is going to be 14. So we want to put here 14. User defined options. Apply. Then we're going into polygon mode. Select all the polygons. Same thing again. ID 14. Apply. Vertex. ID 14 user defined options apply. I'm going to copy and paste this so it's named the same. I'm going to convert this next right one to a dummy. So we'll close that. It converts the compound, not a dummy, sorry. So I'm going to convert the compound, lock, LO, drag and drop. That's that done. Now, when you're setting up any car, I'm not going to worry about the lights on the car, I'm just going to worry about the spotlight. So, spotlights will be at the bottom. So, here's the spotlight, spotlight light, which is the emissive. So, vehicle emissive needs to go above the vehicle glass the spotlight glass or you're not going to be able to see the light so I just left click hold drag and drop all the way to the top so now there's our spotlight so I can put that in the dummy I can put that also above that in the dummy 
can get that more scope because this is your spotlight there. Now, if I put this, oh no, right, I'll open that. As you can see, you should just be able to see it coming on and off. But if I put that above there, it will disappear, and now you can't see it. So that extra light needs to go above the main body. It needs to be above the glass so it'll shine through the glass. So now I'm going to open up the model itself. I'm going to hide all. I'm going to scroll through till I see extra light one or two. It could be there's extra light two. Where's extra light one? I thought it doesn't matter. Text light two. I can I can attach it to that. It doesn't really matter. Extra light one or two. So spotlight. Extra light one, see, because it's on the same side, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> so, attach. Now, I'm going to attach the one from the car itself to the spotlight. So, left click. And I said, it is. Right, so that now, that also operates your vehicle's headlight. I'll drag that up there, open up FBI 2, just put it right on the chassis. Now, as you can see, this extra light 2 doesn't do anything now, that's just a blank dummy, so I can now get rid of that, open it all up. As you can see, it's not, it's not perfectly in position, but this is just a tutorial. So I'm going to export. Desktop tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. This is FBI two export again. FBI two underscore I export. And I'm going to op open up Open 4, vehicles, I've already got it in there, but it's going to replace it, so I don't really mind. Um, no, I might replace that, yeah, I'll replace that, because the same model. So, there's my dev stuff. SUVs, Thomas, it's there in my tutorial. Wow. Sheriff 2, I'll just rename it. Two. All, the, all my textures should, show, textures should already be in there, except the spotlight. So, I'll get the textures for the spotlight, which is Unity Spotlight. I say it's just the generic one off LSPDFR, Unity Spotlight. Save and then that's basically it. Once that's saved, I'll launch the big air. So here we are in game. As you can see, this is the spotlight, how the spotlight we just set up. I'm going to turn to night time and I'll show you just exactly what it should look like. So, that's a normal headlight.